Today we're going to have a race between merge sort and bubble sort. Two sorts very common in computer science to see which one is faster at sorting the elements in the array. In this video, you're going to hear the letter N a lot. N is the number of elements in the array. As N goes up, so does the time it takes to do a function on that array. The more additional information you're going to need before you watch this video is what big O notation is. Big O notation is a notation used by computer scientists to determine how long a function takes by whatever n is. So as n goes, the big O notation of a function will also grow, which is why it's important to keep the big O notation low. The first sort I'm going to talk to you today is the bubble sort. The bubble sort is a very simple sort to use by computer scientists for when you just want to sort a list that you know is not going to exceed a given amount. It's very basic and I'll show you how to do it right now. So here I've done a bubble sort. A bubble sort is a simple sort of which the bigger numbers bubble to the end of the array. And it'll keep doing this until it gets it all. So it'll start off at the original array looking for the base number and it'll go through all of them comparing each other. So that takes n times, n being the amount in the array which is 10 for us. So it finds 10 which happens to be the base number and it'll move it to the end of the array. And then it'll go through it again looking for the next base number which is 9 and it'll keep doing that, so it'll go 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It'll keep doing that until it's all sorted. So this takes n by n times, or n squared, and that's a big... So the big O of bubble sort is n squared. So, and after all that is done, we'll have the sort array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's a visual of a merge sort. So it starts off with an array of four, and it'll split up into two arrays of two, and then finally will be four arrays of one. Then after all that is done, it will ask, it will combine back into the big array, but it'll combine the sorted. So if I had numbers five and three here, three would go first and then five. And if I had seven and eight here, seven would go first and then eight would go first, second. And then, when it goes to the big one, it goes 3, 5, 7, 8. And that's how merge sort works in very basic terms. No, I don't have this loud observed. So the big O of merge sort is going to be n log n, and that's considerably shorter than the big O of n squared. So when doing big complex searches, like if you're using NASA supercomputer or you're building an online game, you're going to want to use merge sort instead of bubble sort. Here, here I have made a time versus n graph of our big O notation n squared is orange and n log n is going to be red. n squared will go up much faster as n goes on than um, n log n. Meaning merge sort is going to be much, a much better sort compared to bubble sort because it will take much less time in order to complete it when you get up into the millions of n's. 
So, in this video we have learned that Merge Sword is going to be a much better and faster sword than Bubble Sword, even though it is more complicated. This is important for us as computer scientists because we need to be able to use as small sword as possible.